Cancer. Hi. Welcome to your love reading. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right. What are the messages? What's going on for Cancer in love? What are the messages for Cancer in love? Please? Whoa. All right. Someone's coming in to take action. Could be dealing with someone who is probably not taking action towards you. Someone who is not criminal. Someone who you had a breakup with with the Three of Swords here. This person literally broke your heart into pieces. Something really cut you through deep, okay? This could be a player, but someone who was probably not decisive about you or someone who was wanting you to do all the work, taking, wanting you to take all the burden of the relationship, okay? And not wanting to do anything about it. I'm getting someone who just didn't do anything about it. You got fed up, sick and tired, and you just backed out, okay? But there's someone coming in with a lot of passion, okay? A lot of passion. This person has a lot of... Um, I'm not saying love, but the King of Wands is all about action and passion, right? So yeah, there is a lot of passion here. Tell me more. Ace of Pentacles, yep. Yeah. The King of Wands is coming in with a brand new practical beginning towards you, okay? This person is now wanting to look at you as someone uh, they want commitment with, okay? This is a gift from the universe. It's a small seed. It's something that you need to plant, but it's going to take a lot of effort, okay? Probably in the past, this person wasn't ready to put in the effort. They felt they were not ready or they just feel they needed some time, okay? Whatever, take it how it resonates. But someone probably doubted if they could get this off ground with you, but they're coming in after a period of ghosting you, okay? This person could have completely ghosted you, isolated you, not talking to you, iced you out, no communication, okay? But this person has gone into their cocoon. And they did a lot of thinking, a lot of research about what, when, where, how, why, a lot of self-introspection. And I guess this person's coming out of isolation and they're ready to talk to you. They've, ha they've been enlightened to something. What are the messages? The moon here. So this could be uh, something which, you know, where there was a lot of fear, okay? This person could have had a lot of fear around this entire connection, okay? But this person could also be someone, you know, who just had a lot of stress anxiety around this situation but the moon is also someone who's um say suppressing their feelings okay this person had a lot of feelings for you but they chose to keep quiet about it because yeah well, this person definitely wants to work with you or there could have been a lot of secrets involved with this person okay or around this connection There could be a lot of deception around this, okay? I'm not getting deception as a third party situation. Could be, but deception could be also around where, you know, like this person was not ready to show you what they really felt, okay? Tell me more. Nine of Wands, yeah. I guess this person's coming in, but I'm feeling that you're very, very guarded with this person, okay? Either they were very guarded or, and now the tables are turned and you're the one who's guarded. Because with the moon here, I'm literally getting as, like, you have a lot of security issues with this person, okay? I'm getting, you don't really know if you want to trust this person or not. Maybe this person put you in a third party situation in the past and now you don't trust them. Or they ghosted you and they give you a lot of mixed signals and you don't know what's going on. But your cards are up when this person is coming in. Maybe you're someone who's focusing on your work, career, goals, and you always wanted stability, security, and that's something that this person was not ready to offer you. But right now, it looks like your focus is all on your money, your career, you know, your stability. Tell me more. But the Nine of Wands is someone whose guards are up, okay? You're still there. I wouldn't say you've given up. You're still there. There's a little bit of perseverance left on your side. Maybe this person took like a real long time in coming towards you, okay? And you're almost ready to give up. You're at the end of the rope. But you have this hope that, okay, like maybe things will work out. Two of Swords. This person has put you in um, in this place, okay, with the Two of Swords here. You blocked this person out. I feel you're not refusing to see the reality, okay? I'm getting with this person comes in, right? You're the one who's going to be like, no, I don't trust you. I don't know what your energies are towards me. And you literally don't trust this person, okay? With the moon here. The moon is, again, a lot of secrets, a lot of hidden agenda, etc. okay? You're just like, I'm literally getting like you as like wondering, like, why now? Why would you come to me now? Like, what happened all of a sudden? What made you change your mind? But I guess either this for you block this person or... Um, this person is probably wanting to see things for what they are, okay? They have a reality check and with the magician here, this person is wanting to come in towards you and make things happen. 
I guess this person sees that opportunity with you, okay? They're manifesting. So is the Ace of Pentacles. It is a manifestation card, okay? Maybe this person put you in a place where they, you know, they were completely blocking their heart chakra and uh, they weren't letting you in, okay? It's like no, money, no matter how many attempts you make towards this person, all you would get is uh, a regret, okay? Or someone who would just shun you away. But I think they're ready to open up. They'll probably make the decision. Tell me more. Yep, they're coming in with the three of wands here. Your ships are coming in for sure. With the devil here, this could be a toxic situation, okay? Yep, this person wants a brand new beginning with you in love. They're releasing any kind of toxicity that was uh, stopping them from coming towards you. Could be codependency, could be fear with the moon here, could be some kind of attachment or anything, okay? Could be addictions, bad habits, anything. But there could have been some particular cycle that this person was repeating over and over again, which put you in a place of like, dude, like, what the fuck? Are we doing this or not? Or probably this person completely just ghosted you, okay? Maybe every single time you had like a conversation with this person, this person's escape would be just to like ghost you you know where they just had nothing to reply to or they didn't have to face you or confront you you're waiting for your ships to come in with the three of wands yeah i guess um they're coming in you manifested this relationship or this connection tell me more tell me what about cancer and the person you're dealing with king of swords they're coming in with clarity you're going to have clarity for sure, okay? There's someone who's coming in with clarity. Again, I'm getting a hermit here, okay? Someone's done a lot of thinking about this. I'm getting this person is coming to you after a period of a very long break. They're going to tell you at as it is. They're going to tell you. You could even have two people coming towards you, okay? One who's passionate about you and one who's going to be very, very clear about you. You could have two people coming in and that's going to be something which, could, which is going to keep you in your head, okay? You're going to have to make a decision, a choice between two people. One's passionate about you and one's very clear about what they want. If not, if not, I have another scenario where this is just one person, okay? They're passionate about you and they're coming in with clear communication. And this is something you've always been waiting for, you've always been wanting, but it's just that your guards were up. Or, or I feel that this person's coming in with a lot of passion, but you with a king of swords, right? You're ready to cut through the bullshit. Because again, see, I'm getting temperance here again and again. Something has taken its own time, okay? Something's very destined and fated. This person definitely wants a reconciliation and it's coming in. Someone's gone through a period of healing also. Give me more messages. Ten of Wands. This person is feeling very, very burdened now that you've left, okay? They want a brand new beginning with you. This could be a relationship which you probably gave up on because you probably felt that you were the only one doing all the work here. And probably once you walked away, this is this person who's feeling so stressed about it. Oh, this could be someone, you know, who's already overburdened with a lot of things, okay, in their life. And they're ready to drop that load they already have and they're coming in towards you with clarity, all right? And what they want is a clean slate with you. There is a lot of passion here. They're feeling left out by you, okay? You probably uh, are not talking to them. They feel iced out by you. You're giving them the cold shoulder and that's something that's burdening them. It's a very draining energy. Tell me more, please. About cancer and the person they're dealing with in love. Tell me more about the cancer and the person they're dealing with in love. Ten of Swords. They want to put a fucking end to this, okay? Ten of Swords. Yeah, this is someone who wants to revive this situation, okay? Get it back from the brink of failure. They're ready to express their love. They're ready to come towards you with commitment. The Knight of Cups is the card of commitment. Someone wanting to open up emotionally, okay? This is your knight in shining armor. You walking away or you cutting them off has become like a big burden on them, okay? It's like... Something that is self-inflected, okay? It's not like something that you've done on purpose, but it was because with the 9 and the 10 here, right? See this. I'm also getting someone here, if this was them, who was very, very guarded, right? And now that entire guarded position, okay? It's getting them into that draining energy. It's like overburdening them, okay? Because everything is in the dark here, and it's literally, I'm getting like this person now realizes that they, they shouldn't have put you in that um, stalemate energy for so long. But they're ready to come in, okay? You're, you're waiting for your ships to come in. They're coming in, not only with clarity, but with passion and um, 
a practical brand new offer. Ace of Pentacles is a small offer, but it has to do with stability, which is good, right? They want to put an end to this bullshit. They want to move forward towards you with clarity, okay? They want to come towards you. Could be with someone who's living at a distance from you, all right? Or this is someone who you put a physical or a mental distance between. Give me one more card. Three of Pentacles. They want to work with you. They want to build with you, okay? They're ready to build with you. They're ready to put in all the effort, the energy, the commitment. They want to invest in you, okay? They're ready to build a strong foundation with you. This is starting from scratch. The Ace of Pentacles. They're moving to the three, okay? So yeah, this person's definitely ready to be with you on the same page. They're watching you. They're spying, watching you from a distance, okay? So this person is more like, let's do this, okay? You're the one who's probably guarded, okay? Because again, with the moon here, I'm getting that you're the one who's like blocking them, okay? And you're like, no, I'm not interested in talking to you anymore because like, what the hell were you doing all this while, you know? But I feel secretly you've been manifesting this person, but you were just fed up and you gave up on this person. And the moment you give up, that's when they're coming in. You could have felt very backstabbed and betrayed by this person, okay? Because they didn't take action towards you. But they're coming in to revive this relationship, okay? They are. You probably could have felt very unsupported in this relationship. Maybe you thought you were the only one who was doing all the work. And that's why you had to let it go. I mean, you were still there. You were still there while this person kept you in this two of swords energy. But you finally released the burden. You let it go and they're, they're getting back in. Tell me what is the likely outcome for cancer and the person they're dealing with in love? Let's see, what is the likely outcome? Eight of Wands, dude, damn. Something's going to move forward really quick, cancer. This is communication coming in. Could be online communication, could be, like I said, someone from a distance, okay? But there's going to be a quick moment. Things are going to move on so quickly, you won't even know. You're not expecting this. This is unexpected communication, okay? This could also be someone, this is someone literally throwing love, you know, Cupid's arrows towards you, like, now, 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 and you're just going to be so stuck in your head, you're going to be like, what the hell? I mean, like, things were so stagnant, we all, we were over, we were done with, what happened? Give me one more card for the likely outcome, for cancer and the person you're dealing with. Five of cups, but yeah, see, you are probably, you know, this is probably someone, you know, who's wanting to move forward towards you, okay? But this person here is was could, could have been crying over spilt milk. Maybe they were still in that uh, a vet, um, they were still moping, okay, about whatever happened in the past. But I think this person is moving forward. They want to let go of the bygones, okay? They don't want to focus on what happened in the past. They want to, I'm literally getting the five of cups is also the energy of someone where, you know, all is not lost. You're the one who's focusing on the three cups that are spilled, but you're still not focusing on the two cups that are still left. This person wants to rebuild with whatever is left, right? They're like, let's do this again with the three of pentacles here. See, they see you as marriage material here with the queen of pentacles. This person definitely sees you as someone, um, um, marriage material, someone uh, who they would like to commit to, someone who they would want to marry. You're very practical, very grounded. You got your shit together, okay? Very self-reliant, very financially abundant. Okay, but someone who is very good in every aspect of her life and someone who is very nurturing and caring. See, again, I'm getting someone who literally wants to move forward with you, okay? They want to get out of this rocky waters with you. They want to release the tension and they're coming in towards you. For sure. They're, they're, they're moving on from that regret, okay? They definitely are. So that's what I have for you, Cancer. There's someone who wants to bring the relationship back from failure, okay? It's like they want to revive a connection but you're not expecting this all right that's what i have for you cancer i hope this reading resonates with you do like share subscribe and i will see you next time bye bye and I